Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel here on YouTube. My name is Bones of Life, hope you guys are healthy and well. Today we are going to be playing a little bit of a game called Barony. Barony is a roguelike style game, kind of old school looking, I'm sure you can tell by the graphics. Oh, I think it's inspired by an older era of these types of games. I'm going to be playing as the Arcanist, which is a spell slinging... Uh, ranged kind of class and the reason I'm picking that is because I cast this little this little ball of light here as one of my spells It'll allow you guys to be able to see while keeping my hands free This class just starts with that um, as an ability they just have so I would like to do that Both of my children are over at the grandparents today So I am taking a nice little break from being a dad for just just one day Which I think honestly anyone who's a parent understands that you know, I love my kids to death I really do but you need a break from it sometimes. You know what I mean? Uh, grandma was happy to come take the kids and be with them for the day So I said hey, okay, let me do a little bit of recording for trying hard So I'm excited to be back in the game. It looks like we have a battle that went down here. This rat killed That skeleton is that what happened right there? I hear multiple rats so Algernon might be on the level Algernon is a white rat that is a boss for this, and he has, like, a contingency of, uh, other rats that help him fight. So that might be what's happening. I hear some battling still going on. Where is this fight at? Sounds like a spider, too? Whoa, weird stuff going on. This, this level's spooking me out. Spooky. Extra creepy. Spooky, scary skeletons. Then we got rats, and we've got... Apparently giant holes in the floor. I'm looking for humans. Oh, God. Hello. How you doing? I'm looking for humans because I am a human, so if I find other humans, I could simply talk to them and they will join my party and become my best friend. And I love having best friends. It means so very much to me. So I've already found the exit to the level. Uh, I should probably say at this point that our entire point of playing this game, the goal of this game, is to descend deeper and deeper into the dungeon, gain levels along the way, and uh, maybe some friendships along the way. At Two, which is kind of what I'm looking to do right now and get to the end boss kill him You know your typical roguelike stuff But this game does a really cool thing where you'll see I'm picking up items that are like not ranged right things that I can't use This by the way is a boulder trap This is an insta death if you walk underneath it and the boulder falls on top of your head unless you're wearing specific items But as I was saying I'm picking up random items. Is there anything right here? No because that appraisal skill you just saw level up is this uh, magnifying glass going around these items I can appraise everything and that I'm going to throw out because it was red, which means it's cursed. I'm going to get rid of this Book of Light because I don't need it. The sword I'm never going to use. Aged cheese, moldy cheese. Let's get rid of that. Get some cheese down here. I'm going to just do a little bit of micromanaging. I like to put all the stuff I'm going to keep on the bottom. And everything I'm going to get rid of, I kind of keep near the top. So that way I could just kind of keep it organized. You know, keep it classy. All right, let's go this way. I think I haven't explored to the right here. Hello, sir. Do you like some force bolts? Well, too bad. You're getting some. I'll grab these just for the appraisals. Nice, another spell book. That I actually do want. Right now, I'm kind of looking for a... Ooh, a surface of bear trap as well. Bear traps will do what a bear trap does, right? You throw it on the ground and an enemy steps into it. And they become stunned. The end of the level here, I'll show you. I'm going to do a little bit more of that inventory management because... Oh, hello. I need to organize my spells and things so that I have room for everything else because this game is kind of inventory heavy and this game is extremely hardcore. It is a very difficult game. You can die in an instant. Like I said, those boulder traps, no matter what level you are, if you're not wearing the specific hat that guards you from insta-death from them, they will kill you in one shot. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. As far as I can tell, well, as far as I know right now, there could be, I just don't know them. Decrepit metal scrap and some decrepit magic scrap. This is for the tinkering kit. I just don't know how it works. So first of all, let me get rid of all this stuff I don't need. Uh, that's a human right there that I'm about to talk to in a second. This guy is going to... Oh, amulet resistance. Yes. I already have light. Don't need these. And a pickaxe as well. I'm going to talk to him in a minute and you're going to see what I'm talking about when I say that... Uh, no, I want to keep this cursed we don't want cursed items because they can get stuck on you well they do get stuck on you and they can have uh, negative effects as well so let's keep all this get rid of the chest join our buddy who are you guy we have a guy on our team very good join us guy join us on our adventures into the deep dark decrepit barony dungeons excellent slingshots not a bad pickup that's a good backup weapon in case i need it especially since i'm like secondarily ranged i'm primarily a caster 
but secondarily, I can definitely, you know, I can sling a bow. You know what I'm saying? I can knock an arrow or two. I've done it in my day. So anyway, here we go. I'm here at this ending of the level, so I'm going to throw all the stuff that I'm not going to use immediately over to this side. Because I've already got that stuff equipped. I don't need to worry about it. I can select a spell by uh, wheeling over them. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Let me get rid of the excellent slingshot was no good because... It was cursed. Poison resistance. I need to wear this. Armor class ring. Yo, this is a good start. All right, I like this. Marked piece of mail. Faded piece of mail. These are useless. Brand new school of charging. That recharges one of my uh, staffs down here. Staffs I can use to cast spells without needing to know the actual spell. I guess I'll keep this stuff. I think I could, like, break stuff down. But given that I'm not, like, well versed in it and I don't really know what it does, I'm just going to go ahead and not do that. So you could wheel over... Oh, human, human. Join me, human. Wait, <laughs> Saibu. Yes, be with us. Oh, nice. We got a nice little posse going on. I love this. Uh, yeah, on the bottom there, you can wheel over items. You kind of use your mouse wheel up and down because I'm playing keyboard and mouse. And you click in your mouse wheel button. I think that's mouse three button. I don't know what it's called. Oh, nice. A merchant as well. Looking good, this dungeon. I like this. And then uh, you will equip that spell and be able to use it. So let's see what Oliver has. He's a magic staff, buddy. Not bad. I just don't have anything to sell you, friendo. Sorry, that sucks. All my staffs are mine, and you can't have them. You know what I mean? Look, they murdered a rat for me. That's why I love my buds. I wonder if I'll buy these spell books. It's a big, that's a big maybe. That's a big 10-4 maybe. Rat man. Nice. Good shots, guy. Fresh meat. Awesome. You also have to appraise your meats in this game. Uh, I should mention that there is a survival mechanic to the game. You will get hungry and starve over the course of the game. An eye patch. And you will need to make sure you're keeping up with that. This is one of these enchanted fountains. Oh, help, boys. Ouch. All right, do I have a healing potion of any kind? Anything to heal me up? Yikes, I don't. I hear my buddies fighting something over there. I'm just going to quickly do this. They could probably handle it. Oh, nice. Faded. Oh, that is so good. Uh. Ah, oh, it gives me 2%. Wow. Held in the offhand, eternally cast spell book. Uh. I guess I'll keep it in my offhand. I don't know. I think I want this in my offhand. We'll hold it on our bar for now. I don't need this. Sneak is no good for me. These are all bad. I hear stuff going on, man. You guys are creeping me out with what you're doing. Here, I'll open it for you. Take them out. I'll help you even. Cybill, don't die. What did I just say, Cybill? My goodness, I just told you not to die. And then what did you do? You went and died. I blame you. I'm gonna tell your family it was your fault too. Oh, no, not like this. Ooh, almost died just to that freaking lady. This mining helmet right here, by the way, this will save you from boulders. That's one of the things I was talking about, but it is a very heavy item. I'm actually going to do a quick bit of inventory management here. I don't think I need these scraps because I'm not going to be doing the... Yeah, I'm not going to be doing the Tinker's thing. I'm kind of keeping it because it's worth money, but we'll see if I end up holding on to it. Let's throw a cloak on because it's cool. I'm not... I like to be cool, you know? I'm sure you guys like to be cool too, right? Especially on a hot, hot day. I like this cloak better, I think. No, I think I like the green one. Matches my, my get-up, you know what I mean? Fashion is important when you're down in the dungeons. Okay, 50% boulder resistance. So I guess this one doesn't completely save you, but it will save you a good amount. Let's get rid of crack gem. Gems, crack gems are not very good. Uh, you want the higher quality. Grant's warning. That's a good ring to have. Nice. Okay, I am very hungry. I feel weak. That's fine. I have some fresh meats right here. Let's eat those up. That'll put me back up to full. I could actually have waited till I was at starving, and then it would have had a better full benefit. I think I have a staff that... Yes, unlocks doors. Nice. Okay, excellent. So let's put back on my bow. Uh, yeah, all this is junk that I threw on the floor, so I don't want it. Still got my light following me. We are good to go. Let's keep exploring down this dungeon. Rip the other one. Who's this guy? Guy is still with me. That's my guy, you know? Oh, God. Boulder trap there, so we're not going into that doorway. Uh, I think this is activating doors over there. That leads to, like, a special room. I, people have told me that there's, like, a gnome monster boss room. Like, there's, like, a th real threat in those rooms. But I have yet to make that be... I've yet to have that experience. I have not had that experience whatsoever. Okay, let's put these staffs back down here. 
I, I've been finding more like freebie rooms whenever I go into those, so I am tempted to go there, but I don't know that I will. Serviceable iron boots aren't bad. I think there's a human in here. Oh, okay, it's just a bad guy. Give him a couple force bolts to the face and be done with him. Nice, magic is increasing. I am going to be focusing, I think, on casting this game and less on my range. Because that's the way I want to do it. Um, I'm happy with that, so let's keep going. See, I'm going to show you right now. I can get through here now and you'll see... Oh, it's locked. Is this one my opening? Yeah. Yeah, see, I go into this one, which is like a secret level. I don't know what's going to be there. Usually it's been positive, but it's not always positive is what I've been told. So, I... You know what? Let's go see. Let's adventure and find out. So, this is the Gnomish Mines. Okay, this is what people were telling me I need to be afraid of. So, I'm going to grab my fire staff, and we are going to... Oh, I hear some very scary sounds going on in the darkness. Oh, God. Guy. Guy is so going to die, dude. He's so Can't dead right now. Let's cast this a couple times, get rid of it. I hear them like chop choo chipping over here. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I am, granted I'm using a very good magic staff right now. I'm willing to break to get through this mine. I'm so scared right now. This is what people have told me I need to be afraid of. I don't know if there's like a boss at the end of this or what, but we're, we're doing it live. Doing it live. Let's see where this will go. Oh, it's such a maze too. Okay. Here are all kinds of enemies around me. I'm going to try to avoid them as best I can and just keep moving. Try and find my way to the exit. Thankfully, what you're seeing on the bottom right, by the way, that's my mini map for where I am. That's showing me where the bad guys are. Oh, I made a mistake. I have made a true mistake. And I regret it with all of my soul. Okay, hold on. I think I actually have a scroll that will repair a magic staff. So let's put this back in there. I'm going to charge this. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. We got it back. Let's do this again. Yo, okay. Arcanist is good for this. That's what's up. So that scroll made me able to use my staff again. Ah, another troll. I don't think he's... They're usually not hostile unless you get close to them. I think gnomes might be the same way. But they have some magic staffs that I want. Ow! Real bad. Gotcha. Okay, that hurt. I'm not going to pretend like it didn't. <sighs> he's cool. We're cool. It's all good, dude. Oh my gosh, there are so many gnomes down here. Okay, I see a blinking red dot over there. I don't know if that means it's the exit, but I'm going to try and head out of here if possible. Because I feel like I am a, a bit above my pay grade at the moment. You know, manager put me on a job I wasn't ready for. Oh, dude, I think I'm like... I'm deep in the salt mines right now. Let's just keep moving. Let's just keep moving. I could head back, but you know, I'm, I'm not feeling like a complete coward at the moment. I think I can do this. I hear fighting going on as well. Ugh. Just gonna like turn around on the gnome. Yeah, it doesn't look like they aggro unless you get like super close to them. So let's keep going through and see if we can find the exit. I don't know if there is an exit or what, but... Whoa. Hello there. Ah! <laughs> okay. They're hostile. I, I've learned today they are hostile. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we could... That's kind of just what happens in this game. It's very easy to die. It's not hard to lose in this game. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and end it there. Just give you guys a quick little taste of Barony. Maybe I'll play it more. I actually had a thought of playing this game without commentary. Just doing, like, no commentary runs. If you guys are interested in that, leave me a comment down below. Because if you stayed till this long, then I'm, I'm shocked. Thank you very much for doing that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.